morning everyone. Uh, welcome to day 13 of the Fabio Reset. Today is another full body stretch because um, I thought I had quite a few views on the other one so I thought you must have all enjoyed it so I'll treat you to another one. Um, so we'll get straight into it today. Um, we'll start on our knees. You can either tuck your toes um, or if this is too much of a, a stretch for the muscle on the bottom of your feet then feel free to sit on your heels. So we will sit up here and we'll start taking some deep breaths. We'll take a big inhale through the nose and exhale sigh out. Another deep inhale through the nose. And exhale, sigh out. We'll just set the intention today. And I'm going to let you set whatever intention you want. I'm not going to give you a guiding one today because often if I set one, it might distract you from something that you may be able to set for yourself. So I'll just let you think of something you may want to set for yourself today. And then we will bring our hands interlaced. Actually, to begin, we've got untuck our toes because they will be pretty stretched now. We'll tap out our toes. And we'll sit back onto our heels. And then we will interlace our hands and we'll just do some wrist circles here. Circle them one way. And then circle them the other way. And then we're going to bring our hands to cactus and we're going to open the chest and inhale. And then as we exhale, we're going to round the spine and bring the arms together in front of us. So we'll inhale to open and then exhale to round the spine. Inhale. And exhale. It's almost like we're doing some seated cat curls. Open the chest so we'll inhale and then exhale round the spine and one more time to inhale and then exhale. We're going to come up onto all fours so tabletop, hands underneath our shoulders, knees underneath our hips. We're going to flip the palms so our fingers are facing towards our knees and just stretch out the wrists here. You may just want to stay here like this, or you may want to just take a few circles one way and then the other way, really pushing the palms into the mat. And then we'll come back facing the palms the normal way. We'll inhale the right arm up to the ceiling and exhale, thread it underneath the left, bring the right shoulder to the right uh, and the right shoulder and the right ear to the mat. You can stay here or you can straighten the left arm all the way to the top of the mat or you can bring it all the way round to the right thigh. Make sure your shoulder is away from the ear. And wherever you are, bring that left hand back to the mat, push into the mat and bring the right hand all the way through and up to the ceiling. Right hand comes back down, we'll inhale the left hand up and exhale, thread it underneath the right arm. Left shoulder, left ear to the mat. Again, you can stay here or you can reach that right arm to the top of the mat or you can bring it all the way around to the left thigh. And keep breathing here, release any tension from your jaw. And then we'll bring that right hand back down to the mat. Lift up the left hand all the way to the ceiling. And then back down. We'll bring our hand a bit further forwards, the distance of the mat. Tuck our toes, lift our hips up for our first downward facing dog. You might want to pedal out the feet here. 
You might want to bend into the knees, make space to lift in your hips and your tailbone up to the ceiling. We'll take one big inhale here and one big exhale. And then we'll inhale the left, the right leg up, sorry. And exhale, come through, plant that foot in between the hands. Keep the left hand planted and lift the right hand up to the ceiling. Inhale and then exhale, come through to the left side of the mat. Bring your feet parallel to the short edges of the mat to your wide leg fold. We'll inhale to lengthen here, your legs are straight. And then we'll exhale to fold, bringing the top of the head towards the mat. It's a matter of it's not close, you're just reaching towards. Your hands are a little bit further behind your feet and you're pulling your body down towards the mat. Breathe. And then we're going to bring our right hand to the left foot and reach our left hand up. And then we're going to come back through and reach our left hand to the right foot and reach the right hand up. And then come back to centre. We'll come to a flat back, engage the legs, put your hands on your hips and then lift up. You bring your feet so that your heels are in and your uh, toes are facing out. You might want to come so your stance is a little bit shorter. And we're going to come down into our goddess squat. So your knees want to be going towards your feet. Tuck your tailbone as much as you can. Hands can go onto your hips. Keep breathing. You're going to bring your left hand and your right hand to your knees. Push your um, right shoulder down into the middle of your legs and straighten that left hand, the left arm. Stretching into the legs here, the inner thighs. And then we'll swap over, bring the other shoulder into the middle and straightening that right arm. And then we're going to come to a high lunge. So we're going to straighten the back leg, 90 degree the front leg, inhale the arms up, exhale, frame the front foot, push back to our downward facing dog. Gonna inhale the left leg up. Exhale, come through to a high lunge, planting that left foot in the middle of the hands, planting, keeping that right hand planted. Inhale, the left hand up. Rotate that chest. Engage the right leg. Inhale here and exhale, come all the way to the right side of the mat to your wide leg fold with your feet parallel to the short edge of the mat. We'll inhale here to your flat back, exhale here to your fold, reaching the top of your head towards the mat. And then we're going to come with our hand underneath our face, left hand down, and then the right hand is going to come up towards the ceiling. We're still in our wide leg fold here. Keep breathing, release any tension from the jaw. And the right hand comes underneath the face and left hand comes up. And then we'll release that hand back down. We're going to heel toe the feet in so that they're just wider than the hips. The heels are in, the toes are out, and we're down in our yogi squat. I'm facing away from the camera still, just because I'm going to take a bind, and I want to show you exactly what to do from behind. So from right now, I've got my hands at heart centre, and I'm pushing the knees out with my elbows. Keep breathing here. We're going to put the left hand down, 
and we're going to reach the right hand up. So you can stay, you can stay here if you like, or you can reach the left hand around the left leg, and you can meet that left hand with the right hand. The left hand's holding on to the right hand. You want to rotate the chest. You're in the spine and look up. Keep breathing. And then we'll release from that, wherever you are, we'll go back to centre, push out with the elbows, and then we'll release the right hand down to the mat. Lift the left hand up, and again, we can stay here, or we can reach that right hand around the right leg, and meet that right hand with the left hand. The right hand is holding onto the right leg, the left hand. And again, rotate the chest, look up, and keep breathing. And then we'll come back to centre, bring our hands to heart centre, and test yourself here. From here, we're going to push up all the way to standing. Perfect. And then we'll turn the left foot facing the front. We'll come to our high lunge. Inhale the arms up. Exhale, frame the left foot, push back to our downward facing dog. We're going to drop down into our child's pose, so knees as wide as the mat, toes together. We're going to sit down on our heels and just stretch forwards here. Forehead to the mat. One big inhale here. And one big exhale. And we're going to walk up. And from here, we're just going to bring our feet so that they're facing the front of the mat. And we're going to roll down the spine so we're lying on the, mat, on the mat, on our back. So we're going to roll down. We're lying on our back. We're going to bring our knees in. Just give ourselves a quick hug. Forehead comes to the knees. And then we'll release. We're just going to grab behind the knees, onto the thighs, and we're just going to start rocking up the spine until we're seated at the top of the mat. We'll bring our hands to heart centre. We'll take one big inhale through the nose. And exhale, sigh out. And while we're here, come back to the intention that you set yourself at the beginning of the practice. Namaste. So I hope you enjoy, hope you enjoyed um, that full body stretch as much as the other one. It was slightly different, it had um, a few different variations that you probably haven't done yet in the, full, in the February reset. Tomorrow is um, some yoga, it's, like, it's a yoga flow um, with some twist variations in. Yeah. I'll see you tomorrow. Um, please do make sure you subscribe if you're enjoying the videos and give the videos you enjoy, you enjoy the most um, a thumbs up. Thank you.